Gel polish, you are doing these things wrong. Stop it! Don't do that. Stop doing these things wrong, gel polish. Don't do that. We're gonna show you what to do right, but first we're gonna tell you all the things you're doing wrong with gel polish and why I'm better than Greg. Tracy, can you explain everybody? Why am I better than Greg? You sign my paychecks? <laughs> beautiful way to start the vlog today. Um, <laughs> I wanna talk about gel polish. Gel polish is like huge service. A lot of people doing it at home. Most people getting it done obviously in the salons. Phenomenal service, but there are still issues with gel polish. What are the most problematic things you're seeing people do? What are they doing wrong, Trace? I think the number one thing I would say is not looking at it as an enhancement. Okay, what do you mean by that? It, they, they pretty much compare it to like being polished. So they don't prep in the proper form for gel polish. It's more of a manicure type and then they wonder why their gel polish is chipping. Okay, so how should they prep gel polish? It's ex I prep for gel polish exactly the same way I, I prep for hard gel or acrylic. Medium grit arbor band, uh, swipe it clean. I personally like to protein bond the whole nail because I electric file my stuff off so it's okay that it won't soak off with acetone. Exactly the same way I do for any other artificial enhancement. Got it. That makes sense. If you're prepping it like a manicure, you're most definitely gonna have issues, correct? Absolutely, because there's nothing for it to hold on to. Again, yeah. it's still, it's a soft gel, but it's a gel. Yeah. It has to have some texture. What about like, I hear uh, streaking. We see this with certain colors that people have issues with. Actually, we had somebody this morning on Twitch ask us about this. What are they doing wrong in the application process uh, where they would get streaking with some colors? If you smooth the nail out too much, something like white, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna streak. It has nothing to grab to, there's no texture. So it just kind of slides versus grabbing. Then also it's the one and done kind of mentality because gel polish is pretty pigmented. So you kind of like, well, I'll just glob it on one time and then cure it and then I should be done. And it's like, no, a lot of colors need two coats. Sometimes I do three coats, like get the main out of the two and then do my touch up around the edges with the third. So I think that is definitely a problem uh, that they have. Again, treating it more like a nail polish versus a gel polish. What about chipping? Why am I getting chipping? What am I doing wrong, Trace? I'm gonna go back to the first one, smoothing the nail out too much. Then also uh, we have this thought that like, Everybody can wear gel polish. It can go over anybody's natural nails, and that's just not true. If a person has a flimsy, very bendable nail, gel polish might not be strong enough for them. They might need more of a dip, or maybe they need a overlay of acrylic or hard gel, and then gel polish on top of that because their nail just isn't right for just straight gel polish. Another issue just came to my mind that the people can be having is it's under cured. Mm. If you're under cured, there's a, there's a couple things will happen. You'll see bubbling, you'll see um, peeling, and you'll see chipping. And that could be either you are just not curing it long enough or it's time for a new light and it's not strong enough to cure. Maybe your one minute cure was good a year ago and all of a sudden you're having issues. It's a good good sign that your light is ready to be replaced. One of the thing, Trace, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you about is I also see pr sometimes people when they're applying, whether it's gel polish, um, um, or even nail polish, sometimes they don't get enough on the brush. This is something that you've said to me a couple times. Can you talk about that a little bit also? Yeah, so you can see, you, you'll see this with polish or gel polish. Some people go so heavy and so thick, right? And then it just kind of runs everywhere. And then you have the person on the other end that's like, I'm so afraid of the run and that it's gonna go in the cuticles that I'm just gonna barely brush it on. And it, it, it makes it harder and it, uh, it, it'll it take longer and it, you're not gonna get as good coverage. If you get a good amount on the brush, when you're applying it, it's gonna go on so much easier. Then you can always wipe your brush off and remove excess to make sure it's nice and tight. Nice, Trace, I like it. Tracy, one final question, okay? And this is something that I don't think I've ever asked you. Who's cooler, me or Greg? I just, I don't think I've ever asked you that question. Pretty sure you can rewind to the beginning of this video <laughs> and you asked that question. What? Same answer, you signed the checks. What am I supposed to say? So it's? Young. <laughs> no! so much for watching our nail videos to 
check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.